underscore a. Okay, so I call it manifold a and okay. I will drag them down and double click on J6. All right, I will call it manifold B underscore B. Okay, so far so good. Now I will connect mod manifold A with manifold B to represent another flow line, okay? Usually this line will be bigger than the flow line from each well. Connect, touch manifold A, okay, hold the left button, connect it with manifold B, okay. And also another join there. Okay, I call it separator joint. Okay, there. And I will connect the manifold B with separator join. I will rename it join. Okay. All right. Connect it with flow line or pipeline. Okay. And lastly, from this join, I will connect it with the separator. And it is production separator. I will call it separator. Okay. Okay. Click that again. I will move the separator. There, okay, click the move again. Now connect the separator join with separator. All right, beautiful, right? So as you can see, we have constructed the big picture. So as I said before, I have one gas reservoir and I have four wells drilled into this well, in, into this reservoir. So I have four gas wells. And then I have flow lines connecting this flow line with the production network. Okay, so we can call it production network, production facility, production pipeline system. All right, I prefer network in this video. So the network, the center of the network will be the separator. Okay, so all the flows will be directed into the separator. The the pressure of the system will be based on the separator pressure. Okay, so if you want to do production optim optimization, production debottlenecking, basically what you change or what you, yeah, what you change is the separator pressure. Okay, of course, if the separator pressure is high, then the situation, we can call the situation back pressure, high back pressure. And we don't like actually the high back pressure because it makes the flow more difficult to flow, okay? More difficult for the fluid to flow against the high back pressure, okay? So usually we can do optimization by lowering the separator pressure, okay? Or lowering system pressure. If we lower down the separator pressure or the system pressure, at the end of the day, the wellhead pressure will be lowered also, will be reduced. And with lower wellhead pressure, usually we will have higher flow rate. Okay, so that's the concept. Okay, this is the first stage of our simulation. So far, so good. Now we need to connect this reservoir with the Embel model that we have created. So double click, 